Hello everyone, this is Sarthik. Long time no see. We will solve an interesting code forces problem this time. Pause the video, read the problem and we will get started. So the problem is saying that you are given with the binary matrix of n cross n size. You are supposed to construct n sets and each set has to follow certain conditions which are stated here. Now for the binary matrix, if bij equal to 1, then your set, the ith set that you construct should be a proper subset of the jth set you construct. That's all you need to follow. And I will try to explain the approach I was thinking. Let's take one of these examples. Let's take this one. So the binary matrix is 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, so on. So if you think of this particular matrix, you have to construct four sets S1, S2, S3, S4. And forgive my handwriting, but this is the best I can do with a mouse. Not that I can write better without the mouse, but yeah. So given this matrix, it is quite obvious that set one is a subset of set four. So set one, is a subset of set 4 then set 2 is a subset of set 1 only reading through the matrix set 2 is also a subset of set 4 then let's see set 3 is a subset of set 4 now if you see here set 2 uh, there is no set who is a subset of set 2. So I can probably assign value 1 to set 2. Now since set 2 is defined, I can probably go ahead and define set 1 as well. In fact, set 3 also does not have any set who is a subset of it. So let me assign value 2 to set 3. Now I can probably go ahead and define the value of set 1. It has to be a super set of S2. So maybe 1 comma 3 can work. Notice that I did not uh, assign it 2 because some it was used somewhere else. And I wanted to avoid doing that. Finally, I have set 4. It needs to be a super set of both S1 and S3. So it has to contain 1, 2, 3 for sure. And let me assign a new value to it, 4. So this is the possible answer for this solution. And you can see it is, uh, you know, it passes all the constraints given. So this is one way of constructing my answer. In fact, if you think about it, we already have an approach, but let's still go through the problem again. So the problem explicitly tells that it's possible that there are sets in which you cannot actually do it, but they will not be a part of your input. It does not mean, it is guaranteed that for all test cases in this problem, such end sets will exist. But they may or may not be a part of the input. Uh, they will never be a part of the input. So let's first of all analyze what are these inputs in which the set actually could not be constructed. What could, could the cases have been? So one case is, if let's say bij equal to 1, and bji also equal to 1. So this automatically means that the set i should be a su uh, subset of j and j should be a subset of i while si and sj should also not be equal. So this is never possible. Moreover, if you think about it, the graph I just constructed, the directed graph I constructed to solve this particular input, that should never have a cycle. Because if there is a cycle, there, there will be a condition that your ith set is a subset of some jth set which is a subset of some ith set. So a cyclic dependency can never be there and that is and this particular cyclic dependency will never be given your, in your input as stated in the problem. Now solving the problem is quite easy. Just find the sets for whom there is no subset. So si, si1, SI2, so on, let's say SI3. These are the subsets for which there is no other set 
whose sets it says I am a subset of that set. So these are those sets, the lowest level ones. Now find out the subsets or the sets that could be constructed using constructed using this. They would be one level above. Some as J1, then some as J2. And maybe some as J3. Then find out the next level of sets, which could be some SK1 and SK2. And that's it. Now, once you have the directed graph, just start filling values in the lowest level. Mark it as 1, 2, 3. Then pick any value of the next level, say this one, this will be 1 and some new value which is 4. See how I am going sequentially using new numbers and these numbers will never get exhausted because there are only n sets and I can have n numbers. I can use one new number every time I am constructing a set. For this one, I will make it 1, 2 and 5. Now for this one, I will make it 2, 3 and 6 then for this one maybe I will see 1 4 2 5 2 3 6 so it's 1 2 it's majorly all the numbers and append a 7 to it so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 how about this one it will be 2 3 6 8 so there were 8 sets I used 8 numbers no set is uh, identical to any other set and all the conditions are getting validated so this way of construction you will always be able to follow all the rules the rule of sets being distinct will get followed because you are adding a new number to each set you construct and then subset is automatically getting followed due to the way we are constructing it i guess that should have helped if it did not do let me know in the comments if you want a solution to this problem code it up i will make sure that i code it up and submit the solution and add the code in description let me know how you sort the problems and do like the video and subscribe to the channel. Bye bye.